understanding the, the differences between uh, hypnosis and other forms of therapy like NLP is pretty simple. Um, although I don't, I have a hard time drawing a border between neuro linguistic programming and, and hypnosis in that it is suggestion and it is based on associated memory. So what you're learning or in NLP is basically what you're being given in hypnosis. Um, I think the two work together very well. Of course, they, they should because of, you know, it's not coincidental that a hypnotist, along with uh, somebody who really understands uh, kind of mind mechanics, got together to create an linguistic program. I think it went astray a little. Um, as it grew, because really the basic principles is to get in NLP is to get things done, is to to come to a conclusion, and that's very you know forward, and and that is definitely Richard Bandler um, and his influences on on that portion of neuro linguistic programming. Uh, Bandler is a very straightforward guy, almost pushy, shovey kind of guy, but the end result is that, you know, the change occurs, which is what hypnosis also does. So when you combine the two, um, like I do in my sessions, where I do almost conversational hypnosis, or um, I do neuro-linguistic programming to begin the session to kind of root out the way the person thinks about their problems, and I start to make a change while they're still in a conscious state and then reinforce everything through hypnosis. Um, there are certain cases where I don't believe you can get a substantial amount of change out of somebody by simply doing NLP. I, I think you're gonna have, because of, if you don't make a change in environment, the mind will go back to the same thought patterns that it created to get them into the problem in the first place. <coughs> so you need to make a change uh, in the very core of the associative memory in order to get a long-term change to occur, which is what age regression does. So if you really wanted to see a hypnotist who had a full repertoire of tools to help a client. You'd want somebody who had, had the ability to make a quick change, which is what neuro-linguistic programming does. You would want somebody who had a background in, um, in being able to do direct suggestion hypnosis at a very high quality direct suggestion hypnosis can reinforce what the NLP does and really get it deeply into the subconscious mind so that it becomes an automatic reaction to environment. But if you really want to eradicate the problem completely, you know, and not leave it up to, that's the thing about NLP, is you're teaching somebody, which means you're leaving it up to the person to continue to do what you've taught them. If you don't want to do that, if you want to really just say, you know, it's my responsibility, I'm the therapist, then you need to do the age regression because the age regression is going to revert the associative memory to a new style of cognitive thinking so that they believe that the NLP will be their, you know, their saving grace should they begin to bend back into the same direction that they were before they came in.